environmental activist, the new now, Farwiza Fahad. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is attending the Women Deliver Conference in Vancouver, Canada, made a case for women in leadership. Uhuru said members of the female gender should be given equal opportunities as men, especially in positions of authority. According to the head of state, women are equal to the task. The president acknowledged the need for the society to create an enabling environment for women to exercise authority and enable them exploit their skills and talents in providing services to the communities they live in. He noted that cultural and religious barriers as well as stereotypes have continued to be an impediment to women in realizing their potential in leadership and in achieving their dreams of a better society. For the first time in the history of Kenya, an opportunity to serve not just in government, but in positions that traditionally were never held by women. As a result of that, in my second term, two of those women were actually elected governors in their respective states because people saw the capacity and the ability of these people. So I think the first and most important thing is opportunity. President Kenyatta said the appointment of the women to cabinet positions goes a long way in changing the society's view of women in leadership, adding that he will continue pushing for the passage of the two-third gender law in the Kenyan parliament. We will keep presenting this bill to parliament. We will continue to try and persuade our parliamentary colleagues that it is necessary for us to be able to pass this bill. While delivering his address to the Assembly on Tuesday, President Kenyatta outlined his administration plans towards realization of equality in Kenya, especially through the introduction of compulsory free education. And we in Kenya, uh, during my term, I have instituted now compulsory primary and secondary education. And the word compulsory <laughs> is there to ensure that it is about every child, not just about the male child or the female child. It is compulsory primary and secondary education for all the children of Kenya. Mm. And we are also going to make it punishable by law for parents or societies that don't take their children to school. So that <laughs> in itself creates and enables women access to education which is the basic mm -hmm. entry in order to become participatory citizens. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said his country will continue championing gender equality and ensuring that rights of all citizens are respected and protected. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Please. Earlier on, the two heads of state disclosed that Kenya and Canada have agreed to employ joint efforts to secure a seat at the United Nations Security Council between 2021 and 2022. Betty Kiptum, Channel 1 News.